One should always be preparing for a big one. This does not make it less likely. There is about a 1 in 20 chance that this location will be having an even bigger earthquake within the next few days that we have not yet seen the biggest earthquake of the sequence. It's certain that this area is going to be shaken a lot today, and some of those aftershocks will probably exceed magnitude five, which means they- All right, so you've been listening to renowned seismologist, Dr. Lucy Jones, and I just wanna highlight what she has been repeating, that we, we may not have seen the biggest shake yet. Again, if you're just joining a 6.4 magnitude earthquake epicenter in the middle of those uh, red circles, Ridgecrest, about 150 miles away from Los Angeles, kind of in between Bakersfield and, and Las Vegas. I'm getting tweets from so many of you guys describing what it felt like. Sarah Seidner, just bringing you back in, that the, the word I keep hearing is rolling, rolling, shaking. And when it comes to Ridgecrest, you were reporting when we spoke last about fires. Yeah. Now you're hearing about rescues. Yes, and, and I should also mention this. We are just getting this in from several different people in the Ridgecrest area that they have felt another fairly strong aftershock uh, there in Ridgecrest. You heard uh, seismologist Lucy Jones, who everyone in this area certainly knows. She is known around the world uh, for her work with earthquakes. Uh, she said there's, this area is going to see a lot of shaking today. She is on the money. They are feeling aftershocks as we speak. People are talking about uh, how strong they feel, and they definitely feel uh, another feeling of a sort of a rolling earthquake. Um, it certainly doesn't feel good, especially when you've had one that is about a 6.4 uh, magnitude. Uh, the other concerning thing, obviously, to people is, is this a precursor to something bigger? And again, mm -hmm. seismologist Jones talking about the fact that there's a 1 in 20 chance that there mm -hmm. could be a bigger event that happens. And, and just to give you some idea um, of how these work, I mean, she also told us uh, before this press conference that there was a 4.2 earthquake that hit Ridgecrest just a before half an shock. hour before. That's right. So there has been a foreshock. Is it possible that the 6.4 is a foreshock? Absolutely. Hopefully not, because the next uh, you know, size could be uh, bigger and could be uh, much more damaging. Um, but there is damage we're hearing from at least one hotel in the area uh, there. You're seeing uh, some pictures there of, of the lights uh, moving around and back and forth. Um, these are the things, and this is why in, in the areas where there are earthquakes, whether it's here or around the world, um, I've experienced a stronger one in, for example, Chile. Um, this is why they, they tell you to get underneath Underneath uh, something that's solid. So that table that you see there in the video, that is where you want to go because things do fall. And a lot of people get injured, uh, not by the event itself, but obviously it throws things off of shelves. Sometimes if, if something is built with bricks and you're outside, those come falling off, which is why uh, building codes have changed over the years. But there could be, and there will be, according to the seismologists, and we know that there already are, aftershocks that people are experiencing and frankly it's just it's scary for people to go through this you have no control over this i do want to mention one more thing i know i, I need to hurry but i need to mention no. one more thing You're there good. is something called a shake alert and i had downloaded it as soon as i found out about it in los angeles and this city has to come up with the mayor here come up with this idea that everyone should have an app and that when there's an earthquake that there's a way to alert people even five to ten seconds ahead of a big event it did not go off on my phone. In other words, I did not know that an earthquake was coming, but Lucy Jones there said, yes, actually it did detect the earthquake here in Los Angeles, but it may not have been stronger here, strong enough here for us to get the alert. I looked on, on the alert and it did say that an, an earthquake had happened. I just didn't know uh, any, not even a second before. So it should be noted that this is stronger in Ridgecrest uh, and stronger, for example, in Las Vegas, which is closer because the epicenter is there uh, and closer to Las Vegas as well. Brooke. Yeah, well, you heard Lucy Jones say we want to talk to people from Ridgecrest and China Lake. Sarah, thank you very much. Let's do that sure. right now. I have Alexis Bird on the phone with me. She is near the epicenter there in Ridgecrest. So, um, Alexis, uh, first of all, how are you? How are you doing? You OK? I'm OK. Yeah, you OK. 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 So 6.4 and you just heard the seismologist say there there have been or there will continue to be for a while other aftershocks. First, just what did it feel like? It, was, it just started, like, shaking, and then it just started rolling. And, and when we hear the word rolling, Feel it. How, did, how do you mean? It just, just like the ground underneath you is rolling, like you're on, on a boat or in the water or something. And it's this rolling sensation. How, how long did it last? How many seconds would you guess? 
it felt like forever. <laughs> um, felt it was like... probably a good minute or so. Was it fr was it frightening? Um, Did you know what was happening? Oh yeah, I was terrified. You were terrified. My husband just kept saying, "Get outside! Get outside!" And I was like, "I'm not going outside." <laughs> Um, no, thanks, honey. I'm, I'm going to stay inside and ride out whatever this is. Uh, and and yeah. it's my understanding you're, you're from Ridgecrest. So, you know, you're, you're from this part of the country, you know, earthquakes, Southern California, synonymous. Had you ever experienced something like this before? I've experienced a couple when I was younger, not so much as an adult. Um, this one was a lot bigger than any I, I do remember. Okay, and, and we've been hearing, and, and you tell me if you, you've heard anything, there are reports, Alexis, of, of some fires in the Ridgecrest area as a result of this earthquake. Do you have any neighbors or friends or anyone who's reported, uh, you know, seeing anything of that nature or even just damage? So the power is out in it is. Um, part of the town Ridgecrest Heights. Um, I just drove, I live like out in the Acres area, so I drove into town and yeah, we've seen a fire. Um, Can the, you describe, where is, was the fire? Um, it was over, I would say, in the east side of town, like on your way out to Trona that way. That's where we saw a fire, Trona, Cyril's Valley understand uh, i know that there obviously fire is responding fire department responding to that and, and some rescues have you felt aftershocks um i did feel one but i haven't felt any of the others and that that's probably because i was driving are you are you at home now are you are you are you, are you hunkered down for potentially additional aftershocks i mean what, what, what <laughs> i'm at what a friend's we... house right now yeah okay we're just okay we're just gonna wait it out <laughs> okay well Happy Independence Day to you there in Southern California. Alexis, thank you so much for jumping yeah, on the phone with me. And of July. hopefully this will end soon for you guys. I've got uh, Carolyn Storrust, who works at uh, High Desert Haven Assisted Living Facility in Ridgecrest as well. Again, this is near the epicenter of this quake. So, Carolyn, same question to you. What did it feel like? Um, well, uh, probably a, you, it was like you could hear a rumble. And you, the ground started shaking, and you thought, oh, it's just a little earthquake, and then it hit hard, and then everything really started shaking, and I thought, well, this might be it. So but I managed to get out of the room, and um, so I'm at a assisted living, so we had you know, people coming out of the room frightened, and it was, it was kind of a scary ordeal. So you are, what, what, what do you do, if you don't mind me asking? You, you, you work at this assistant facility, assisted living facility? Are you, are you helping yes. folks in the home? Um, there, it's an assisted living where um, a lot of people, the elderly live, um, and we assist them. And I'm, I'm the residential care manager here. So, oh, my goodness. Um, For all those good was, people. <laughs> and the power's out, yeah, Carolyn. Like, I hear the, I hear the power's out. What do you do is the question. Yes, and the, the power, power went out, and then the backup lights came on, and then we had another the aftershock, and then they, it all went out. So right now, our goal is to keep everybody hydrated, you know, and cool, and um, keep them away from any more windows, or, you know, and we're trying to clean up the mess because we have a lot of tipped over dressers and, and um, TVs and everything, so it's pretty scary. So it was that strong that dressers tipped over? Yeah, we had dressers, pictures, TVs. Um, you can see, you know, smoke out in Ridgecrest where there's probably been accidents and fires. It's just, it's, it was scary. It was scary. Yeah, we're having another one right now. Hang on. Right now. <laughs> yep. Hang with me. <laughs> Hang with me, Carolyn. I'm a little out of breath because all I could care about at the moment was my babies or my children. So, uh, but you're, have... you're stuck at work and you gotta pull it together and focus on everybody else. No, take a breath with me. <laughs> Take a breath, and then first, are your kids okay? All my kids are okay. All I counted for, so. Are you okay? Yeah, I am. It's very hot in here. How warm is it? How warm is it about? Um, well, I'd have to go down and check the temperature, but it's still probably about 90. Oof. So 90-ish so, degrees. Yeah, or no power. You're at, this, you're at this assisted facility, living facility, trying to worry about your children.